Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa directed the concerned authorities and the Ministry of Social Development to disperse an additional month of financial support for low-income families to account for global inflation. His Royal Highness also directed the concerned government authorities to develop urgent plans and procedures to stabilize prices and ensure the availability of commodities. His Royal Highness has instructed that the following be implemented. The disbursement of an additional month of financial support for low-income families for January 2023. Temporary suspension of industrial land fees for food storage facilities for three months. Temporary suspension of approvals and fees required by the Ministry of Industry and Commerce for supermarkets to run promotional campaigns for three months. And increased monitoring and inspection of local market prices. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. His Royal Highness directed the concerned authorities and the Ministry of Social Development to disperse an additional month of financial support for low income families to account for global inflation. His Royal Highness also directed the concerned government authorities to develop urgent plans and procedures to stabilize prices and ensure the availability of commodities. His Royal Highness instructed that the following be implemented. The disbursement of an additional month of financial support for low-income families for January 2023. Temporary suspension of industrial land fees for food storage facilities for three months. Temporary suspension of approvals and fees required by the Ministry of Industry and Commerce for supermarkets to run promotional campaigns for three months. And increased monitoring and inspection of local market prices. The cabinet commended the outcomes of the fifth session of the Bahraini-Jordanian Joint Higher Committee meeting, which was co-chaired by His Royal Highness and the Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Jordan, Dr. Bashar al khassan The cabinet highlighted the agreements that were signed during the meeting, which will contribute to enhancing bilateral partnerships across trade and commerce, labor and vocational training, healthcare, youth, education, information, and sea and air freight services. The cabinet declared Thursday, February the 2nd, a half work day at ministries and state departments to mark National Sports Day, which will be dedicated to emphasizing the importance of sports and to allow staff to engage in sports events. On the occasion of Diplomatic Day, which is observed annually in Bahrain on the 14th of January, the cabinet commended the achievements made by Bahrain in the diplomatic field, which have strengthened Bahrain's international standing and contributed to the development of its relations with various countries that share the goals of ensuring security and stability and enhancing development at the global level. The cabinet congratulated the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education for winning the Arab Government Excellence Awards. The cabinet commended the achievements of the ministries and government agencies for winning awards for excellence in government work at local, regional and international levels. The cabinet reviewed an MOU submitted by the Government Executive Committee on the implementation of the Government Priorities Framework 3.1. The cabinet directed the ministries, each in its respective capacity, to develop the implementation plan for the remaining 16 projects within the GPF 3.1 aimed at achieving financial sustainability and securing a supportive environment for development. The cabinet also reviewed the progress of a number of development initiatives for electricity and water services, including measures that have been taken to address the gathering of rainfall in certain areas. In this regard, the cabinet commended the efforts made by the concerned authorities led by the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture and the Ministry of Works. The cabinet then approved the following. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision outlining which governmental health facilities are subject to health insurance law. A memorandum by the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Affairs regarding the acquisition of real estate for public use to provide the necessary spaces for urban development. The Cabinet then took note of the ministerial reports regarding the visit of the GCC Secretary General to Bahrain and the visit of the Minister of Sustainable Development to Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with a delegation from Grow Digital Bank at Dhabiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the contributions made by the Kingdom's banking and finance sector in creating equality 
equality opportunities for citizens and supporting the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of banking and financial institutions in supporting various economic sectors, generating substantial growth and raising Bahrain's global competitiveness. He noted the rapid growth of financial services, which will continue to benefit from further plans, initiatives and strategies that aim at increasing the efficiency of the sector. His Royal Highness highlighted the kingdom's strategic location as an integral investment hub for regional and global companies. The delegation expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness's support in developing the banking and financial sector, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Governor at the Central Bank of Bahrain, Rashid Al Maraj, the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Malki, and the Chief Executive Officer of the Bahrain Economic Development Board, Khalid Ahmedan, also attended the meeting. The field visits of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the projects of modernizing and developing rainwater drainage networks, which resulted in success in dealing properly with the rainy season, received wide official praise. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain is witnessing qualitative progress and growing work for the development of projects and infrastructure in order to achieve acceleration in the implementation of construction and development plans in light of the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and in implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa that aim to enhance the infrastructure development process in line with the urban renaissance taking place in the Kingdom. In view of the royal attention and care, Bahrain has succeeded in implementing various services and municipal projects, especially those related to the modernization and development of rainwater drainage networks and the strengthening of the basic elements of the infrastructure to ensure its quality and sustainability, in parallel with the development of a program for the maintenance of streets affected by the rain. This matter became evident in light of the field visits made by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to projects to develop and expand rainwater drainage, which showed tireless efforts and hard work and success in dealing properly with rainwater to avoid accumulation, especially in a lousy area. The Kingdom of Bahrain is moving forward towards completing various infrastructure projects and all governorates of the Kingdom to ensuring continuous development and developing sustainable solutions for rain accumulation in line with the development requirements for the benefit of the country and citizens. The second batch of affiliates of the National Programme Lama were honored in a ceremony held under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Secretary General Ayman Lim Ayyad and Youth Affairs Minister Rawan Tawfiqi. His Highness Sheikh Nasser paid tribute to His Majesty the King, hailing the royal care for youth who represent the driving engine for development in Bahrain. He also praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, putting the youth among the top priorities of the government's action plan to enable them to actively participate in the development march. His Highness emphasized that Bahrain builds development strategies on the youth by assigning their vital and major roles and tasks, honing their leadership skills and investing in their energies and potentials and achieving their aspirations. He said, he said hopes are pinned on the participants in the national program who represent an elite of Bahraini youth to play a vital, pivotal role in national development and inspire their peers. His Highness honored the participants and the sponsors and during the ceremony a poem was dedicated to His Highness Sheikh Nasser by one of the participants and a speech was also delivered.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed al Salam, hailed the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to disperse an additional month of financial support to low-income families. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, to direct ministries and government institutions to develop urgent plans and procedures that contribute to the stability of prices and ensure the availability of commodities. al Salam affirmed that these directives assert His Royal Highness's keenness on citizens' interests and his efforts and follow-up on their circumstances and needs. He noted that the orders of His Royal Highness will alleviate the financial burden on low-income families. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, presided, uh, praised the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister regarding the disbursement of an additional month of financial support for low-income families. He affirmed that this order aims to enhance high living standards for citizens, which is in line with the vision of His Majesty the King that puts citizens at the top of priorities. As Saleh praised His Royal Highness's initiative to support low-income families to ensure food security is guaranteed, especially with the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. He praised the programs of the government that aim to support low-income families and praise the efforts of Team Bahrain in all fields. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'al Limbarak, participated in a joint meeting between the Ministry, the Capital Municipal Council and Heads of Municipal Councils. The Minister noted that the Municipal Councils are an essential partner in promoting the programs, plans and projects in the interest of improving the quality of government services. He stressed the role of Municipal Councils in the development of construction process and in meeting the aspirations of citizens and residents. He noted the keenness of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to strengthen cooperation with municipal councils. The minister affirmed the importance of cities and villages development project in advancing urban development and the ministry's support to the project. He added that the ministry is currently reviewing the project's development and working with the capital, municipal and municipal councils to unify the vision on supporting this topic. The Minister of Works, Engineer Ibrahim al Hawaj, praised the keenness and follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in implementing and achieving sustainable solutions in a number of locations affected by rainwater and working to raise the capacity of rainwater drainage network. Al Hawaj stated that the Ministry continues to implement urgent projects in the affected areas in addition to developing rainwater drainage networks and enhancing infrastructure to ensure their quality. He praised the efforts of the rain emergency team in various locations, which work continuously around the clock to drain a accumulated rainwater to preserve the road and sewage networks. He noted that the ministry was keen to provide all available capabilities according to priorities in various locations, which contributed to ensuring the flow of traffic. The Kingdom of Bahrain witnessed unstable weather last weekend as a result of rain of varying intensity in various regions for several days. An official source at the Meteorological Directorate at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications stated that the region will be affected by unstable weather as chances for rain are high tomorrow, which may be thundery at times accompanied by gusts. It added that northwestern winds will return during the evening, which will lead to a drop in temperatures to 12 Celsius, but perceived temperatures will be less. The directorate called on seafarers to take caution and to follow up on official bulletins and warnings issued by the directorate.